Okay, this is going to be a video for my buddy Amy. Um, okay, you said you were working on Icelandic right now. Now, I did a search on my channel and couldn't find a, a video I made for resources I'm using for um, Icelandic. So here will be this first resource video for this language. Now, first thing, I'm using this here, this Teach Yourself. I believe this is the one you have. And it's pretty thin, but it's a good book nonetheless. I am on chapter 7 right now. I'm following my, um, my schedule where I listen to it for at least a week. First dialogues, or let's see, first chapter, all dialogues for a week. Then I move on to the next chapter and do the same thing. So it's pretty much been a lot of listening. I haven't even um, started doing, using FLR for this uh, language yet. Just a whole bunch of listening. So I'm, I, just, I got up to chapter 7. So, yep, this is a very good book. So I don't think I have to talk more about it since you have it. So, um, anybody else uh, planning to learn Iceland should get this. Teach yourself. Okay, comes with the CDs. Then, um, you have Colloquial. I haven't started using this yet, but once I finish with that uh, Teach Yourself, I will get I will get to the listening in this part. Now, this is more colloquial as we know. So what what I'm going to do, what I plan to do, is use this beginners. I'm going to use this beginners teachers uh, teachers or uh, sorry beginners Icelandic, and then at the same time I'm going to jump over to this and listen. So for example, I might go ahead and listen to chapter one here, spend a week on it, and then I'll jump over to that other one and spend a week on that. Depend. I might change it up. So I will be working from this book and that colloquial one at the same time. Okay. So I like this here, the Hippocrane. This is it reminds me a lot of Georgian. Like they give you this book has what two dialogues. Let's see here. This book has two dialogues. All right. And they give you the translation right on the other side. So here you have Icelandic there, and then on the other page you have the translation. And do this throughout the whole book. Okay, this is a very good book, just like the Georgian book I showed you guys. Same setup and everything. So you can actually, I mean, you don't have to get to yourself in this Hippocrane at the same time. You can actually just get this one and then get colloquial. I just like to work. I just like to work. Um, work, work from several books, especially when I'm using this FLR method. So, yep, that's it. That's what you do. And this is the book I'm using. You can get this, and it comes with audio, as you can see. There, right there. Very good book. Okay. Now we have this Icelandic grammar and text glossary. This this book, I like it. But it's it's sort of different. It's like it doesn't have like a whole bunch of example sentences in this book. I love grammar books that have example sentences and give me a pretty good idea how things are are um, put together. Now, one thing that's interesting about this book is they have text in the back, reading text. I guess that would be good enough. Then you know, it's better than having like some example sentences because you you get to see things in the text. So. Um, I'll show you. So here in the back, well, it's a glossary. So here you have text. This is text number two. Text number two. As you can see, a full text. You can translate that and do whatever you want. That's one thing I found interesting about this. Although it's, a, although it's a grammar text, it has, yes, grammar text glossary, grammar book, it has a text and a glossary in it. So, I've never seen a, um, a grammar book like this before. So this is the text, and then you have um, in the back of just a glossary, regular glossary. So this book, you have grammar, text, and glossary. So, I mean, I guess I would say if you're learning Iceland, you might want to get this book. It will, it will be useful for you. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I'm using for Iceland now. And like I said, I'm 
right now I'm listening to um, <clears throat> I'm listening to the, the Iceland to teach yourself and it's going really well I just haven't been putting anything together as far as instructions or whatnot but I will begin doing that very soon so I'm just trying to get used to like the uh, sounds and pronunciation and whatnot so yep that's it that's those these are the resources I'm using for Icelandic um, unfortunately, I don't have a, a phrase book. When I bought these resources a while back, I, I couldn't find a, a, um, a, a reliable uh, phrase book. So if, if any of you know of um, any good phrase books for Icelandic, uh, let me know because I still need to find one. So, all right. Um, yeah, so uh, good luck with your Icelandic studies and uh, let me know if you have any other questions. And I'll try to get back to you ASAP. All right. Good luck with your studies.